Well, I think we have some serious, some funny, some scary, and some very technical out there. Oh, we have our, oh my. Oh, underdog and Miss Polly Purebred. Ooh, a little scary there. The re gr Oh, of the apocalypse. Oh, that's a little scary. And it looks like uh, Team Canada has the fur and the toque on. The Mountie. Oh, the Mountie and the fur trader. The Daredevil, which is representing Baywatch. I hope nobody drowns, because I don't know that she could save us. It's the Bay Roan watch, if you get that. You know, Roan means light colored in the horse. Bay Roan watch. I don't know how we let a donkey slip into the arena. Oh, it's a bull. <laughs> the rodeo clown and the bull. See how off I, I'm glad I'm not judging. Marilyn, you're going to have to judge this one. I don't know the difference between a bull and a donkey. The scary eyes on our Grim Reaper. Even the horse is decked out with skeleton necklace. Marilyn Weber is our judge for the costume class. Well, you can go home and tell your family you saw a Clydesdale in a tutu. And dressed as a boat. I think we're losing water over there. Good thing a lifeguard's behind you. Looks like we're ready to play some uh, University of Michigan football. Any Michigan fans in the house? Michaela, I think we're going to be opening the gates. This is just our first group, and they are going to be making their way out. The knight in very shining armor. We lost the cowbell. I didn't hear any Michigan cheer crowds out there. So girls, you got to get these guys pumped up. <laughs> Polly Purebred over there, making it around the arena. A total of four heats will be coming in. We're going to see our Clydesdales dressed in everything imaginable. Well, Team Canada has lost their pool noodle back there. We'll get that picked up for you. We don't want any sinking ships. The Titanic lost their pool noodle once, and you know what happened there. <laughs> All right, we have a total of three heats for Maryland's review. They told us now three heats. It's almost exciting to see what's coming next.
Kapow has entered the building. Wonder Girl and Batman and Superman, the Joker. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Who let the elephants out? Got milk, another cow in the building. Oh, and it's pure Canadian milk. It makes a difference. An acrobatic milker. Cinderella, her fairy godmother, and the pumpkin carriage. We hope to not be here at midnight. <laughs> From Brave. Merida from Brave. Yeah, this one says everything we see on Facebook when there's something for sale. Pony, great for kids, safe. And she's got sawdust in her hair, a neck brace, an arm in a cast, and limping. Uh, we are representing the underwater. We have SpongeBob, the mermaid, a shark. A seahorse, <laughs> how'd I miss that? <laughs> and I see we even have some uh, flippers on our horse. Ariel and Prince Eric. Ariel and Prince Eric. And we're back to our characters, the booms. See that pumpkin is about to turn into a jumping bean. <laughs> and we are going to open the gates. We are going to be sending these exhibitors out. Our judges had a look at them. I bet these little milkers are going to sleep good tonight. They're getting their exercise out in the arena. What was that little dance you were just doing? Show us the floss again. Ooh. That's pretty fast. <laughs> Papa, she's trying to find you. <laughs> There's Papa.
All right, we are going to circle you right around, right around back out of the arena soon. The seahorse kind of cracks me up. I didn't even notice, but that's pretty cute, Kathy. And I see our four horse hitch is kind of um, becoming a unicorn over there. We wanted to see you extend the trot a little faster with our four horse hitch. <laughs> Honestly, if you did not see the feet on that elephant, you would not know what it was. You would not know that that is a Clydesdale. <laughs> that is pretty unique. All right, we are going to have one more division to this class, one more. I hope the milk prices are better in Canada. <laughs> All right, one more group of our costume class, always one of our fun classes. And when we always do promotions for the next world show, it always somehow goes back to these costume classes because what a versatile class this is. One more group. All right, the next group they are sending in, I can almost imagine what we're gonna see. It has something to do with a magical hole in the ground, a rabbit. A timekeeper. How about Alice in Wonderland? I'm not sure if Clyde understands why his ears are so big. What a job on the makeup, ladies. And gentlemen. Our Indian princess. Applejacks, Parnell Ranch Applejack. That is the name of the horse, so that is what they are, the Applejacks. Applejacks, the baby of the group. When make-believe becomes reality. The knight in shining arbor. When the little one dreams, big things happen. Well, Parker looks like he is gonna play a little soccer with his referee. What a big whistle you have.
Our side saddle riders, our traditional riders, made merry. And guess what the buzz is all about? That big flower. I hate to say it, but this is a little scary. A little detailed and a little scary. They even have fog coming out of the back of their carriage. Looks like we have someone in the ocean. Who let the bees out? <laughs> the army represented our soldier in the tank. Pac-Man going after the cherries. Pac-Man, Pac-Man fever. The Starship Enterprise passing by me. If it doesn't get uh, ate up by the Pac-Man. I'm going to say a dragon. <laughs> what? Oh. I don't have a kid. I'm a, a youngster. I'm sorry. I don't know all of these. But dreaming of how to train, how to train a dragon. Toothless. I'm winging it, people. I don't know. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Now, I'm not going to say that three times or something might happen. <laughs> what an exciting division this is. I, I tell you. I can see multiple winners in this class. I think that bunny, that bunny Clydesdale's pretty darn cute. What a fluffy tail he has. At Clydesdale, very patient to have that big flower on his head. Nightmare before Christmas. Nightmare before Christmas. Very, very detailed. Look at the outline of that horse. All the structure, the bone structure. Going under seas again. I'm old enough to remember Pac-Man, so I, I, I did know that one. <laughs> the Starship Enterprise, I'm a gla battle, battle Galactica, Star Wars. Yeah, I think that one is Bluetooth ready. You got some sound in that one. As they make their way out, I'm telling you, our judge has her hands full. I would have just had to turn it over to the audience.
Well, Marilyn, what'd you think of our costume class? That's some deep waters out there. I think we're losing some parts to some spaceships or some underwater creatures out there. Don't worry, the dragon has just ran over it. Yeah, a lot of us up here talking as Marilyn's going to be marking her card that this truly is one of the best costume classes we've ever seen. I know we need to rush right along because our six horse hitches are waiting to come in, but we are going to be seeing some entries back in the arena. She is going to be bringing back in 15 entries, and then you, the crowd, are going to help us choose the winner. So you can go home and tell everybody you judged a class at the World Clydesdale Show. We do have a full schedule left this evening. We'll have our open six horse hitch, the mare team and the gelding teams. Well, our Judge Marilyn is again going to see some of these hitch, these entries back into the arena. I hope your favorite makes its way back in. I hope some of your favorites are making it back in. The king of the jungle back in, Tarzan. Well, I think we have Jackson down there at the gate. Jackson, this has to be one of the most fun classes that we've seen today. But how about you? New to our Clydesdale industry, when you said you were going to come in and be a part of a costume class, did you have any idea this is what you were going to see? 
Not even a little bit. Uh, this is absolutely insane and so much fun. And honestly, I'm amazed that at some of these costumes, the horses are as relaxed as they are. You can't get an eight-year-old to get relaxed with some of these masks on, yet they got these horses too, like the one that's uh, dressed up from uh, 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 How to Train Your Dragon. That's a, that's a full headgear on that horse, and he's just chill. He's loving it. I think one of the exciting things is that the parents... And the families that created some of these costumes, wh what imaginations they have. Yeah, definitely some, uh, some Pinteresting going on here, I have a feeling. This is, most of my Pinterests are uh, chili recipes and grilled cheeses. I'll have to check out horse costumes next time. <laughs> well, I think we could take some pictures and post on there of these horse costumes. We do have uh, quite an adventurous group here. As I get to travel around the country, I have got to see, gotten to see some of these costumes before. I saw our bumblebees up in Calgary at the Stampede. They were rocking it and uh, running around, getting the crowd cheered up with the bumblebees. I was just out in Utah doing a show a couple weeks ago, and I saw our skeleton horse. Yeah, I'm afraid some of these horses are going to show up at my house here in a couple of, uh, <laughs> couple of days asking for... Uh, Reese's peanut, butter, Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> I, would, I would have to think if a horse was to eat candy with like a peanut butter cup. It's got peanut butter in it. That or carrot cake. No laughs? Okay. Carrot that's the, cake. I that's just the, that's, the, that's it. the right response to that joke. That is, to me, horsing around. Nothing? Correct. Okay, there we go. You talked about that dragon. What about the bunny? That thing is covered almost from head to tail with bunny fur. That's another one. We may have to do a DNA test to check that's actually a horse under there. So, uh, some, some of these may be a few goats glued together. I'm not quite sure. Don't ask me. I thought we had a donkey in the arena. I actually thought that was a donkey as well, which I was expecting to see someone maybe bring out a big dog dressed up as a Clydesdale. I think that would be a nice little change. They are getting in line. What a, what a fun group. I tell you, if you have your camera out now, get some pictures. We're going to have some worn out kids for tonight. Lots of laps here, lots of walking. A lot of wiggling the bee tails. Another fun one over here is the, uh, the, the horse and, uh, and cart one there. That's a new meaning to putting your horse before the cart. That's a, that's a fun one there, too. But at least they're Clydesdales. You see the white feather on the leg. It's all about the attention to detail is really what's going to uh, you know, separate the, uh, the winners from the non-winners. But actually, i got to say, everyone out here is a winner. This has got to be one of the most difficult ones to choose. Mm -hmm. We have exhibitors that have been in this class before, and we have exhibitors that are new to our industry. Our Grim Reaper down here with the flashing lights. That's a little creepy, those flashing lights for eyes. But I have to say, that is Alexis Sanders. And six, seven months ago, she never even owned a Clydesdale. This is her first horse, her first time to come to a, a world show, a horse show featuring her Clydesdales. She made her mask uh, out of mache. She's created her own mask, so nice to welcome you to the family. Just too bad we can't see your real face. Let's also not forget about the, uh, the Baywatch horses. That gal came out riding two horses at one time, which seems like a lot of trickery, mm -hmm. so that was, a, that was a pretty good one, too. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't be a costume class without somebody flying the Canadian flag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say the elephant is one of my favorites. If we're going just on based on horse costume alone, on standing alone, you can't forget about that elephant. You just can't. I, I'm gonna have to say I really like those bumblebees. That flower out there and the and the green leaves and that that bumblebee's Bella got junk in the trunk. That's uh, <laughs> just dropping that stinger like it's hot. Bella and Chloe can this, sure do the wiggle. This is a family show. <laughs> but I have to say, now that I've realized that we have a bull, 
with the bull's flank and the horns and the, and the clown. I'm going to the PBR in a few weeks. You want to go with me? I'm glad I'm not wearing red down here. <laughs> yeah, you would be a target. <laughs> I don't move too fast either. <laughs> Just got to look for somebody slower than me. But when you think about detail, we have our nightmare before Christmas, and then down here, Alice in Wonderland. Your makeup on both of these entries, splendid. Absolutely beautiful job on your makeups. And, and costume if, design. Somebody, somebody's no stranger to a sewing machine. That's pretty good. <laughs> and if you want to see the bone structure, the skeleton of our horse, detailed extremely on that carriage. So, Marilyn, I don't know. If you, if you let Jackson and I judge, we'd have to call it a tie. They don't put me in charge of things like that. <laughs> well, she is going to narrow it down to two. I don't know how, but she's going to narrow it down to two. And those girls are not stopping to work the bumblebees. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. She's not looking. Dedicated to the job, I'll tell you that. And actually, the, the Clydesdales, they had some animated uh, in their step. They were, the lead team was pretty high-stepping. They were pretty good in, in sync as well, I noticed. Not only the high-stepping, they seemed to work well together. Seems like they've been training for this, maybe for a couple of weeks, getting prepared. I don't think anybody just threw these costumes together. What, what a great a tribute to all of our family and friends, and I bet a lot of moms had these great ideas out there. And our camera guys are getting some great shots, so you're getting the close-ups. The tank actually had Bluetooth music playing as it went by. Yeah, hard decision to make out here. We'll see how this, how this rolls out. Now, once we get down to two, then the audience, the audience is actually going to be the ones that pick who's number one. So you have, a, you have a say in this judging as well. I'm thinking one of our bees got stung. We're losing the bounce. Is that what the buzz is? I think that's the buzz. <laughs> Not one of these jokes has gotten a laugh. I'm killing it tonight. <laughs> what I always say is, you know, I'm, I'm on morning radio, and I always say that, you know, in the morning when I tell a joke, I just have to assume you're not laughing at my jokes. But out here, I can see you not laughing, and I like that better. Well, the official card is making its way up to the arena. Marilyn, I'm glad you had the clipboard in this one. I'm sure you're a fine connoisseur of Clydesdales dressed as animals. Yeah, how do you get qualifications for this? Studied Clydesdale costumes in college for six years. All right, well, we are going to have two entries step forward. And from these two entries, these are what our official judge have selected in no particular order to be your top two. So would you step forward, entry number 173, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and entry number 1047. I could be the judge, Jackson. I got it. Wow. This is going to be a tough one right here. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to let the audience be the judge because I think that's too much pressure for me and you. I think we need to put it on them. What do you think? I'm ready. All right. So what we're going to do is when I point to each side, you're going to make a lot of noise for the team you think should win. Are you ready? Oh, come on now. Are you ready? All right. If you want Alice in Wonderland to win, give me a big round of applause. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, if you want the Nightmare Before Christmas to win, give me a big round of applause. I got to say, that is pretty darn unanimous. Your winner is the Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, well, we are now going to call them out. We are going to have you circle around and... 
Your entry in first place is number 173, The Nightmare Before Christmas. If you would circle around to your left, our queens are over there, and they are going to get your picture. That is the Faulkner entry, Alyssa Combs. I just saw you girls in Utah. You're looking a, a little dead. Our second place entry today, Debron, Debron Clydesdales with our Alice in Wonderland. Beautiful, beautiful display. Our third place is going to entry 630, the Beardsley entry. That is the dancing Clydesdales pulling the wagon. Fourth place going to Burger Barn, those are the bees. Give it up for the bees and the flower. Fifth place today going to Twyla Newton's entry. That is our Kings of the Jungle, Guitars and. Sixth place to number 409, Brianna Fry. All right, who's wearing number? Brianna, your entry, 409. Oh, that is our Star Wars Battleship Galactica. Imperial Walker. Imperial Walker. Now we're getting technical. <laughs> Ken is capturing moments here, getting a picture of these. What a memory we have of our costume class. Seventh place going to Tara Sanders, creating her costume, the Grim Reaper. Eighth place going to Michaela Redeker, Daredevil Drafts with our Bay Roan Watch. Next is brand AAA, Madison. Got Milk, the Canadian Milk Association with our Milking Clydesdale. <laughs> Doug and Kathy Lindsay's entry next, number 119. The Seahorse and SpongeBob, our mermaid, our shark and our sea-loving Clydesdale. Deep sea diver. <laughs> Ebony Clydesdales, number 505 next. Our rodeo bull. Gabe, is that you under there? Oh my goodness, <laughs> I would have never guessed. And that is our 11 places. The remaining entries are excused. Thank you so much for being a part of our show. What a beautiful class. Well, Jackson and I were somewhat close. We, we kind of had our top two that we liked there and that we agreed with Marilyn, but all of them did a tremendous job